as long as I've been in networking, which is uh, a few decades now, one of the most popular tools I've seen network admins use on a day-to-day -day basis is Excel, believe it or not. And it should not be surprising. Historically, networking uh, appliances have not been the easiest one to automate against. So what do we do? We collect the information by hand and we put that in Excel. And we do all of our analysis, all of our inventory keeping, uh, all of the report generation out of Excel. But now there's a next generation of networking tools and software that's available that is much more software defined, that is built for automation, that has amazing and 100% REST API, and most importantly, that has a control, typically controller-based or centrally managed architectures that allow you to talk to a single endpoint with an API that then collects data from hundreds of end devices, potentially. A great example of this is Avi's software. So Avi's software is essentially an elastic platform which could have hundreds of load balancers that all come together as one elastic load balancer. It's a controller-based architecture where you talk to the controller, you log into the controller, and the controller then takes the information from hundreds of load balancers, thousands of applications, and puts that in a single place that's now API accessible. So here's an example. I've got a couple of controllers. This controller that I'm logged into here has uh, probably about 30 or 40 applications, and I can see the overall health score of the applications, uh, how they are behaving all in a single dashboard. I also have another controller which has its own service engines and a smaller number of applications. And what I want to share with you is something that one of our customers shared with us where um, they came from an Excel or a spreadsheet heavy background and we were trying to uh, convince them to move to a more API-driven environment. And this is how the two worlds came together in just a few clicks. This is how easy it can be to bring the power of Excel's uh, data analytics capabilities to a well-designed um, API-driven architecture. So two uh, systems here. Let's look at the first system in a little bit more detail. All of this data that you see on my screen, it's just the UI calling a few REST API. So before this call, I had actually looked up this API uh, as to what's the API that the browser is making. And and this is essentially the API that goes out. It's the controller's IP address or DNS name, uh, followed by slash ap API slash virtual service dash inventory. And I'm asking you to return at a minimum 50 before it goes to the next page. And of course, for every application, I see runtime and configuration information in a nice little JSON blob. Now, for those of you who are comfortable doing Python programming, Ansible, etc., this is heaven. You can just grab these records and work with them and pick out whatever piece of information you'd like to work on. But from those from an Excel background, you're not left behind either. So let's fire up Excel and in a few clicks, let me show you something that's possible. So let's open a blank Excel, go to data, tell it to go grab some data from the web and the same API, the same URL that I just gave to my browser, instead I'm gonna give it to Excel. Excel then takes this API, goes and talks to the controller and pulls in all of the information that you saw on the previous HTML page. Because it's just JSON, Excel understands that natively, and I don't have to know anything about JSON, I don't have to know anything about data structures, and all I know is I pointed Excel to an API on my controller, it pulled up this information, let's pull that information out, it pulled about 36 records from that one controller, we're going to convert these to a table, it does this automatically, no typing so far, so it's beautiful. Uh, I open up the columns, I say, you know what, give me the configuration information and the health information. That's really what I'm interested in. So it's gonna pull those up. Then I say, out of the health score, uh, just give me the health score of the individual application. And for config, give me the name and maybe the URL if I want any more information. That's it. And using this very simple point and click mechanism, I can now save this and it'll load this into an Excel table. I mean, how powerful is that? I didn't have to do anything. All I did was make an API call natively out of the system, didn't have to sing, write a single line of code, zero code automation, and Excel now is live linked to my controller. And you know, I showed you I have a couple of controls. You wanna do the same thing for multiple controllers. You can see about 36 rows here. Let's just copy this. So we'll say duplicate and it fires up another query automatically. And all I do is go to the source and change the source 
to a different controller. So in this case, I will say, please go to uh, a different DNS for the controller. So same call, same everything. I'm simply going to a different controller and gathering information in the same way. And when I do that, you can see here, it's now gone to a separate controller and loaded that information. So now I've got information from two separate controllers, the application name, the application health score, and the URL if I want any more information about the application here. Now, the power of the system is now I'm in Excel. I can do whatever I want. I can combine these two tables. So let's do that. Let's append to this table uh, the second table. So we'll say, please append. And it says, OK, you've got this first table. What's the second table? And of course, I duplicate it, so it's right here. Combine the two, generates a new query, combines the two, close and load, and ta-da, I'm done. It's that simple. What I have on my screen right now in a couple of clicks is the name of every application in my system right here. And you can see I didn't take the time to give it great column names, but obviously I expect you would do that. So I have that here. I have the health score on a score of 0 to 100 for every single application worldwide. This could be anywhere in the world. I get this real-time score from the systems into my Excel spreadsheet so I can analyze this. I can run pie charts, bar charts, trending charts, analysis for what percentage of applications are healthy versus what percentage are not. Uh, I can get all this information, all that analysis I can do here. And of course, if I wanted any more information, just for my record keeping purposes, I pulled in the URL as well, so I can always click on this and jump in and look at something. So I come in in the morning, I can just sort smallest to largest, saying, all right, I've got a few problem children this morning. Let's go click on this stuff and see what's really going on with my Exchange application, with my Azure virtual service, some application in Azure, and so on. That's it. And if I ever want to reload this, if I save this data and I come back tomorrow morning, I want to reload and get the latest and greatest information, I just go and say refresh all. And the system, as you can see down here, goes into the background, gets the latest information, updates all of this information right here. If you created new applications in the meantime on those controllers that the system is talking to, it will automatically upload those or, or download those rows as well. So an amazing way to bring the power, the data analytics power of Excel and combine that with a modern, well-designed REST API based system that has already done most of the hard work for you, wherein it has consolidated information across thousands of apps and hundreds of load balances into a few controllers worldwide that I can go and talk to.